This video will show you how to calculate the sum of all elements in a tensor by using the PyTorch sum operation. First, we import PyTorch. Then we print the PyTorch version we are using. We are using PyTorch 0.3.1 post 2. For this example, let's manually create a PyTorch tensor using the PyTorch float tensor operation. So torch.float tensor, we pass in the construction we want it to be and we assign it to the pt underscore tensor underscore x python variable. We construct this tensor in this way so that it's easy to manually calculate the sum. Let's print the pt tensor x python variable to see what we have. We see that we have a python tensor with two matrices inside of it where each matrix has three columns and three rows. It's a PyTorch float tensor. As we just discussed, the size is two by three by three. Now let's calculate the sum of all the elements in the tensor by using the PyTorch sum operation. So torch.sum, we pass in the pt underscore tensor underscore x Python variable, and we assign the result to pt underscore tensor underscore sum underscore x. Let's now print the pt tensor sum x Python variable to see what we have we see that we have the number 36.0. To check that this is the right result, let's manually calculate the sum of all the elements in our example PyTorch tensor. Scrolling up, we see that we had one, two, three, four, five, six rows, and each row was comprised of the numbers one, two, and three. So to calculate that sum, we can do one plus two plus three, and we get six. And because there were six rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, we know that six times six will give us the total sum. We see that the sum is 36, which is what we got when we printed the PT tensor sum x Python variable. Perfect. We were able to calculate the sum of all the elements in the tensor by using the PyTorch sum operation.